What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with another 2-in-1 WWE Elite Series review, and we are diving into the last two figures of our WWE Elite Series 106 with Sami Zayn and Roxanne Perez. Now, there's no indication on Roxanne Perez's packaging that this is her first time in the line figure, but I'm pretty sure this is our first time in the line ever Roxanne Perez figure. I couldn't find any first time in the line on the packaging. Usually, it's like a gold tag, like right here or across here, or hell, even on the back of the packaging usually, but I'm not finding anything there. But I'm excited to dive into these. We have sort of an updated Sami Zayn figure pretty much for the most part. It's kind of glazing over his bloodline treatment. You guys can see on his shirt it says Sami Uso, but it's, you know, marked out Uso and has Zayn on there. So this is kind of after he's already broken out of the bloodline. So I don't know if we'll ever go back and get another Sami Zayn in that bloodline gear. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. Of course, Jimmy and Jay are from the War Games gear. Elite 107 solos from the War Games match. And this isn't from the War Games match. So I, I really don't know what they were thinking there, but... They Maybe there's more Sammys to come, but nonetheless, here is Sammy Uso, or Zane, I should say. Looking pretty good, I might say. I think he fits in with his packaging and all the stuff. You got a handsome shot of the man there, Elite 106. On the back, you get a nice shot of the character, of course, with the bio read and the rest of the figures on the on the packaging there. And then, of course, we do have Roxanne Perez, who's looking pretty solid. You know, I've known a lot of people have having mixed feelings about this figure, but we are going to dive into it and see, indeed, how well this figure is and all those different stuff. But there's Roxanne Perez, a shot of the talent on the side, of course. And then on the back, we do have another shot of Roxanne Perez here. And we're going to, of course, dive into all the different stuff with these figures, man. But with that being said, let's go ahead and put these on the rotating base, find out what they're all about, dive into their accessories and the details of each figure, and see where these guys come in later in the week when we get to My Damn Thoughts. So here's Sami Zayn and Roxanne Perez out of the packaging, man. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far out of these figures. Looking pretty good. I'm, I'm nice to have these new additions here. Now, with the Sami Zayn figure, you know, you're not seeing a huge difference in the last one and this one, but we do have, like, sort of a tale of two different eras, some different things going on there. And then we do have a brand new championship with our Roxanne Perez, and we're looking pretty good right here. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, but we won't know everything until we dive into the details of the figures, man. So with that being said, let's dive into Sami Zayn's accessories and Sami Zayn, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Roxanne Roxanne Perez's accessories and Roxanne Perez. So getting into Sami Zayn's accessories, man, again, you don't get a whole ton, but you do get quality. I think this is fine for Sami Zayn's accessories. I don't think it's underdone whatsoever. We get more cloth goods, man. A lot of cloth goods going on in this wave. I mean, I think it's, what, 80% of the set or 75% of the set or 60% of the set has cloth goods. Both Usos have it. Four out of the six figures have cloth goods. The Usos, Chad Gable, and Sami Zayn all have cloth goods. And this is a great looking shirt. You have the Sami Uso shirt, but it does have the duct tape over the Uso and it puts Zane on it from when he disbanded from the bloodline, rejoined Kevin Owens, and we had the epic rivalry that we had last WrestleMania season. And we're coming up on WrestleMania season again, which makes me sick, dude. The fastest year of my lifetime, man. When I say it feels like I went to the Royal Rumble yesterday, and now the Royal Rumble's coming back up, makes me want to vomit. But Sami Uso shirt right there, Sami Zayn right there, and then it is a Velcro shirt. It's just a black t-shirt, but it looks good, and it fits the figure well, so that's all you really can ask for with the cloth goods. Outside of that, we do get fisted hands here that do feature the white peg, which is such a big thing. I know a lot of collectors love this, and I am one of those collectors. Having the white peg just really completely completes that seamless look from wrist tape, and it just looks more accurate. It looks way better than the skin tone peg. It really throws it off and breaks up that illusion, so this looks good. And then you have the world going around beautiful mic holding or weapon wielding hands that also feature the white peg, so these look really good. They did a good job on the interchangeable hands for Sami Zayn. I don't have an issue with these. All right, man, so getting into Sami Zayn, starting off the head sculpt. Really, really good head sculpt right here on this guy, man. I really like it. This is brand new. We haven't seen this before. Really good natural face, you know, and there's nothing like when they capture some somebody's true likeness, and I think they've done this here with the Sami Zayn. I like this, like, pissed off. You know, he's not doing that goofy face he was making in Elite Series 102. I like this a lot, man. Really great head sculpt going on. I like the hair length. I like the beard length. I think the color's good. It might could even use some more orangish or reddish tones, but I still like it a lot. I think, like, maybe coming in here and filling in some of this with some brown or some reddish color would really make this pop off even more, but the likeness is uncanny, and he's actually one of those guys that can get away with the Daniel Bryan torso. Maybe one of the only guys that can really get away with it, but I think even the Terry Funk torso would look really good on a Sami Zayn figure, but also, I think he needs chest hair. There are multiple Sami Zayn figures that have chest hair, and the Elite 102 and this one have not had chest hair, and I think that's a really underrated detail of figures, like, you know, when you see Seth Rollins figures, Sami Zayn figures, things of that nature, I think the chest hair really throws it over the top. I think it captures a, a detail that makes it pop off, it gives it more accuracy, and I don't know, you guys can let me know what you think, but he's got the standard arms on there, nothing too crazy there, double-jointed, pinless, of course. 
Got the white wrist tape in there, which looks really good with the hand tape. I think that looks really good. All of that is good business for me there. He's got the same legs he's had for about 20 series now, or at least 10, 11, 12 series maybe? No, 15 series or so, right? Because we saw that back in, what, Elite 91 or something like that. But same legs as before. He does have the Sammy Uso slash Zane tights right there. What You guys can see the duct tape over there. Going down, you guys will notice that he does have pins in the joints, which is great for me because that means that his knee is not going to be overly tight. Look how buttery smooth that is. That is so nice nice to see. You love to see that, but I think it's nice because anybody that's upset about it not being pinless, it's kind of, I mean, it blends in pretty good. You're not going to notice it that much. And then we do have the boots right here, which I touched on in the Chad Gable review, man. They make these things too damn tall. They're way bigger than his old boots, which we're going to touch on. But, you know, I've always liked his boots. They look good. And uh, you're, you're going to see in the comparison shot of the video, but that is your Sami Zayn. Now, when you're looking at this Sami Zayn figure, very, very buttery smooth, man. He's got the double jointed arms. He's got ball joints. He's got upper thigh cut. He's got a double jointed knee that's not pinless so it's going to be able to actually move around and not feel like it's going to snap in half. Boot rotation, all the different stuff, man. You're not going to have any issues posing this guy around. He's going to be pretty poseable, even though I'm not a huge fan of this leg mold. I still really like the figure. This is this is phenomenal. I, I, I like the Sami Zayn a lot, man. Again, not my favorite leg mold, and the waist isn't as tight as I would probably like it to be, but at the end of the day, this Sami Zayn's a beast. And I do want to get into some Sami Zayn figure comparisons. So for your Sami Zayn figure comparisons, guys, we have a bunch of Sami Zayn's right here, and just bear with me as we break all of this down. In the middle, you, of course, have the new Elite 106. Slightly to the left right here, you have the Elite 102. Slightly to the right, you have the Elite 91 with a head swap and arms missing. But it's essentially the exact same figure, just with a redone head sculpt. So this is actually the head sculpt that came on this figure. But I did do a head swap because he kind of switched to tights, and I like the tights look better. And this was a really nice figure for a long time. This is the Elite 63 with an arm swap and a head swap. It's a really nice fix-up. I really like that figure. And then this is the Elite 63 head sculpt on the Elite 91 body. But you guys can see these last three Sami Zayn's have missed the stomach hair and the chest hair. But then over here, this is an Elite 40 Sami Zayn that has the stomach and chest hair. And then this is the Elite... This is either... I think this is the TNF figure. I think I did a head swap between the TNF Sami Zayn and the Elite 40 Sami Zayn. And this one also has a little bit of stomach hair and some chest hair. And I don't know. You guys can see what I'm talking about. Look at just the... There's just that subtle difference on the chest hair would really make a world of difference in my opinion. But to be honest, he usually has like this look over here on this Elite 40 head swap over here. So I would really like to see chest hair implemented back into the Sami Zayn figures. I think it just does wonders for the figure. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then for another figure comparison, here's our most recent Kevin Owens Survivor Series Elite up next to our most recent Sami Zayn Elite. And these look really good as well. And if you want another Kevin Owens, you can throw in the Elite 101 fix up or the, the head sculpt change or whatever. And there's the Elite 101 KO. So I don't know. It just depends on which KO you want and which shirt. And I know these shirts aren't really accurate, but you can play around with that and see what you like. But still cool to see these up next to each other and they look really really good i think these are probably the better versions of these characters that we've seen in terms of head sculpt so that's always good stuff and then for your last Sami Zayn comparison we do have the bloodline up next to Sami Zayn. if you wanted to use this as your bloodline Sami Zayn, or you could acetone off the Zayn logo and then paint over the uso part in red and you could actually have a Sami uso that could actually work you could do that so that's up to you you know you could just kind of see what you could do there but it is cool to see these up next to each other it's just it's not an official Sami Zayn in the bloodline because it's when he disbanded so i don't know pick your poison. All right, so getting into Roxanne Perez's accessories, you don't get a whole lot, man. I mean, honestly, even with Sami Zayn, you don't get a whole lot. However, I think we do get quality over quantity in this in this sense with these figures. First up, we do have the first time ever NXT Women's Championship going on right here. Now, we do have like the offsetting, you know, like the blue and the orangish colors going on on each side. You know, it's supposed to like kind of give off that iridescent feel. It's supposed to have that like reflective iridescent feel. And I think the trickeration that they did here with the paint looks really good. NXT title looks good, and it's nice because it's sized correctly. It's not oversized. It fits the figure well. It looks good on the figure, as you guys saw. So the white strap looks really, really nice. And and I feel like a white stripe title always looks good, no matter what. Like, the women's tag team championships look good. All of the women's championships in WWE look really good. And they can challenge the men's title every single day. I just wish we would get their own unique championship looks. I just wish that every title had its own unique design, not the same damn big WWE logo or just a rehash of the men's championship, if that makes sense. Outside of that, we do get interchangeable hands. We have the mic holding or weapon wielding hands right here, and she does have black nail polish on there, which I feel like these are a bit oversized compared to the fisted hands. I think the fisted hands are much more to scale. I think the proportions on the fist hands look much better. Now, if you look right here, like, obviously, she's clenching her fist, so it's going to make her fist smaller. It just looks better to me. I don't know. I feel like these, these hands may be a bit oversized, but the fisted hands look really good. I like the nail polish detail right there, and this looks like a fisted hand that would beat the hell out of it. I mean, 
mean, look at that. Very nice sculpt on these. All right, so getting into Roxanne Perez's figure, starting out the head sculpt, I honestly think the head sculpt's the biggest con of this figure. I don't think that it looks nothing like Roxanne Perez. It just doesn't capture that likeness that I would like to see. I think it's just the smoothness in the face or maybe like underneath the eyes or something. There's something that's throwing me off about it. I don't know. Maybe, I have no idea. I really couldn't tell you. I think if you repainted this head sculpt, it could really do wonders for it as well. And it may be the way the hair's laying. I don't know. If anybody could really touch it or like chime in on that, I would greatly appreciate it. I, I think it favors her, but I don't think it's really like the best head sculpt of all time. I think it definitely could have been better. And I don't know. I think it's missing something. Something's off about this head sculpt. But besides the head sculpt, the gear is really sweet. This paint splatter referee footlocker style gear looks very nice. I like the stripes. They're very clean. All the paint deco is very clean. All of this is actually sculpted on here on the sleeve. So all of these, you know, these strings or ribbons or this, uh, this, this tie or this sleeve that is sort of tied together right there. All of that is all sculpted on there. Looking very clean. Again, all the paint splatter looks really good as well. And then she does have her sleeve over on this side, which has a similar look to it with the crosshatch pattern or whatever going down. Looks a bit odd how it has it at the top and then nothing on the elbow and then it continues on. It's probably because they could, didn't want to sculpt that pattern onto the elbow, but it's definitely worth mentioning. Then you have the lower of the gear and it looks good as well. All the coloration is just really good on this. And then you have the crosshatch on the back as well. Very nice. Pretty cool gear. And she's even got the choker necklace on there, which is cool. Then going down, her legs are slightly darker than the rest of her body to simulate the stockings look. And they did not deco on, you know, any of the, I guess it would be like quote unquote pantyhose look or whatever, but they just color it darker to give it that mesh look, I guess. But I don't know. It's not the biggest deal ever. I do believe these are Alexa Bliss thighs, if I'm not mistaken. But she does have her same knee pads on there. And then we do have these brand new sculpted boots, which I really like. The stripes and the buckles right here look really, really good. The, the green laces on the side looks really good as well. Very nice there. And then the feet look to be newly sculpted as well. These don't look like basic feet, but I'm pretty sure I asked Bill about this and I'm pretty sure they articulate like basic feet. Yeah, they still articulate like basic feet, but at least aesthetically they don't look like basic feet. So at least, I don't know, that that's definitely something. But all of this is sculpted on, so you get a lot of good details right here, man. Really good stuff going on on these boots. Brand new boots, brand new feet, all that different stuff, but they are still basic boots in terms of articulation. But the figure is pretty pretty fun to pose around. I think that it's, you know, pretty poseable. I guess we'll see in uh, My Damn Thoughts in the ranking to see how poseable it is, see if it gets the worst articulation segment and whatnot. But I think you wouldn't have a problem really posing this around. You know, I think you're going to be able to get her in any pose that you particularly want for any moves and such. I don't think you're going to like, oh god, her head popped off. But yeah, uh, pretty poseable. Pretty poseable figure. Pretty fun in hand figure. So that's always a great thing to see. But let's get into some figure comparisons for the Roxanne Perez figure. So for your Roxanne figure comparisons, here is like the last four, I'm pretty sure, women's elite figures that we've seen. You have the Elite 104 Dakota Kai, the Elite 105 EO Sky, the Survivor Series Elite Charlotte Flair, the Royal Rumble Elite Beth Phoenix, and the Elite 106 Roxanne Perez in the middle. And I like that this scales well with all these. You know, she's a pretty short athlete. She's five foot one. I think these scale really well. My wife is actually five foot tall. So if I was going to make my wife's figure, I think I would use this Roxanne Perez or a Alexa Bliss. And I think that that would get the job done. Like repaint this gear and then put my wife's head sculpt on here. This would look, this, this could pass off as my wife's figure. I think that, I, I don't know. I might play around with that. We'll see what comes with that. However, that does it for your Roxanne figure comparison. But I think that pretty much wraps it up for this two in one Elite Series 106 review of Sami Zayn and Roxanne Perez, man. I mean, I think overall, all the figures are enjoyable. I don't think that they shatter the earth or anything. I think my biggest gripes with the two is just this same leg mold we've seen so many times with Sami Zayn. I mean, I, I mean, this is what he's been wearing, and I guess it does look accurate. The head sculpt's fine and all those different things. I just wish that we didn't skip over the Sami Zayn in the bloodline or the bloodline Sami Zayn, or just the Sami Uso era, and went straight to this version of Sami Zayn. Now, I think that this figure did deserve to come out. It's not that we didn't really need this Sami Zayn version, like, right after he broke away from the bloodline, but I really would have liked to seen us get a bloodline Sami Zayn first before we got this figure, and the, it kind of worries me because we did skip over that, that we may not see that, and we didn't see a four-pack or anything like that of the bloodline, or a five-pack, or whatever the hell it is with all the members, so I don't know what they're doing there. I, I Maybe it'll be in a top talents wave, possibly, I, potentially, I don't know, we'll have to see about all those things, but it doesn't look like there's a Sami Zayn in the pipeline, so I guess we'll have to see about those things, but the Roxanne Perez figure, I like it, I like the gear a lot, I think my biggest thing about women's figures, especially being first time in the line, is the head sculpt. I think that's a big part of the figure itself. And I think this one kind of misses the mark on the head sculpt. I don't think it's like a horrific head sculpt that's just awful. I just don't think it looks like Roxanne Perez 
all that much. I think it kind of misses like some of those distinct features for Roxanne Perez that kind of throws it off a little bit, but I still think it's a fine figure. I really like how, how good it feels in hand. I really like the attention to detail in the boots, and I really like the gear in the NXT Championship. So that is definitely something that I think a lot of people are going to want out of this. You know, a lot of belt collectors and things like that are going to really like this, getting that new edition of the Championship. And while I do like Roxanne Perez, and I do like the gear, I just wish that it had a little bit better features in the face scan. So we will have to see about that down the line. But nonetheless, man, that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. We do have my damn thoughts coming today as well. I'm gonna, It's going to be a double upload day, so you guys can look forward to not only this review of these two figures, but you can also look forward to my damn thoughts and ranking this entire Elite 106 set featuring Paul Bear, Chad Gable, the Usos, and these two figures you see here. If you missed the rest of our reviews of Elite Series 106, definitely go check that out. I greatly appreciate it. But if you guys want to grab these figures, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I am getting the hell out of here, guys. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. And speaking of support, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you fellas for everything you guys do for me on a monthly basis. And appreciate all the support here on the YouTube channel. But with that being said, man, I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter and TikTok at my damn toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel and leave a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm getting out of here. See you guys next time. Have a blessed one and I'll catch you later.